Louisiana is recognized nationally and internationally for its outstanding French immersion programs. Today, we've grown to 26 immersion schools, serving almost 5,000 students in public school French immersion programs throughout the state. And the principals of those schools are among the most outstanding advocates for French immersion. I've worked in every phase of education there is, and immersion is the most powerful program I've ever worked in. Well, immersion is the best kept secret in some ways because the principals are very happy to have them. You really have to be open-minded. You have to um, expect adventure. You have to expect challenges. The empirical evidence out there clearly establishes that kids that are enrolled and go through an immersion program do better in a couple of subject matters that most people wouldn't think of, their own maternal language, English, and math. So we knew several schools in the state did have an immersion program, so I took the teachers and we visited in St. Martinville. We visited in Pierre Park. We even went to New Orleans. The first year we just started with K and 1, and then we added a grade every year until we went through fifth grade. Immersion parents tend to be much more involved with their students, their child's education than I find than parents sometimes of a regular because they make an honest to goodness choice of having their child become bilingual. They are very, very supportive of the program. We'll do whatever it takes to make it successful. My third grade teacher was from Belgium and my teacher this year in fourth grade, she's from France. We have teacher recruitment vehicles and they are teachers who are oftentimes from France or other Francophone countries who are coming to Louisiana, but we're also now beginning to train our own through their own residencies where they come back to Louisiana and are themselves immersion teachers right here at home. Because of Escadrille, we have Louisiana teachers teaching in, in, in our native language. Kudafil sponsors working visas for the foreign associate teachers that are from France, Belgium, Canada, and other French-speaking countries. We expect all of our teachers to come in with the equivalent of a bachelor's degree, at least. Many of them have more than that. Um, we ask them for their teaching certificates to make sure that they are certified in their home countries to teach whatever it is they'd be teaching in Louisiana. In my class, I teach literature and art in French, and I follow exactly the same program than the English teacher, because a regular kid has two hours a day of English, and they have only one when they are in French immersion, because it's one in English and one in French. Our students in the French immersion program participate in all the testing that happens in the classroom. They know how to read English, so they can take the test in English. The science is science. And uh, when you're teaching science in a French immersion, you're following the curriculum. When they take standardized testing, they usually score better than their non-immersion peers, at least as same as or better. And that's across the board, across races, across gender, across grade levels. We see it year after year, subject after subject. And even in ELA, even in the English tests, the immersion students are usually scoring better than the non-immersion students. In my A schools, uh, we realized very quickly that, yes, the school was an A school because there was a huge immersion population and the uh, rest of the school without immersion was a C. The academic success of French immersion in Louisiana is only one of the advantages of the program. It is also a serious economic opportunity to prepare folks to go out into the uh, world and attract business to Louisiana. I mean, if you look in Louisiana, um, you know, the Dreyfus Group that just built the port, they're French. Uh, Slumberger is a French company. Air Liquide is a French company. Clearly, if we didn't have any French connection, I think it would make Louisiana less attractive. Because of the pioneering work of Louisiana parents, administrators and communities over 30 years, school districts can now introduce new French immersion programs with proven methods and resources. We work hand in hand with, with CODAFIL, with our international partners, with the Louisiana Consortium of Immersion Schools. Certainly they, they will always be a cost, it's understood, but certainly you can start it off and, and have a minimal cost. And then I think once you see 
the, how important it is and the results that you get from it, I think there's absolutely no question of why you would not continue the program. There is a line item in the minimum foundation budget that addresses the need for a little more money when you are giving children two teachers, one who is primarily teaching in the target language, but also making sure that they have excellent English instruction. Why is French immersion worthy of consideration in additional districts? Because the opportunities for students are exceptional, and the academic and economic advantages could benefit any district in the state. Uh, if I could give an advice to a principal who wants to open an immersion school, do your homework. Visit some schools. Listen to people who have been at it for a long time. You have to be very strong because your parents are very strong. You need to have people who are not stuck in their ways. They have to be able to be flexible. You need to believe in the process. You have to learn about it. You have to be willing to work with it. Look at it, see how it operates, talk to the people who are involved in it. Don't follow your instincts, sorry, but immersion in a lot of ways can be counterintuitive. And have fun with it. For more information on French immersion, contact your local school board or CODAFIL.